Everybody, I'm coming to you tonight with the ever so popular this evening, at least in my subscription neck of the woods, um, 20 questions tag. Uh, before I get started, I tag all my subscribers, all my friends, whoever wants to do it. Uh, I just figured it was kind of a nice get to know you thing since I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately and you know, we talk about makeup so much we really don't talk about our personal lives. So here we go. Number one, are you a night or morning person? I am definitely a night person. I am a full-time college student. I am a mommy of four and my nighttime is my sanity. That is when I get to uh, stop and relax and basically just get to breathe a little bit. So if I could sleep till noon the following day, that would be like an even better situation. <laughs> uh, number two, what was your favorite childhood TV show? I loved Beverly Hills 90210. I watched it from the very first episode to the very last. I was a complete dork. Number three, are you a collector of anything? Well, the obvious answer is makeup. I have more than one person could ever use in a lifetime. Um, secondly, for anyone who knows me, I am quite possibly psychotically addicted to Wizard of Oz memorabilia. It's everywhere. It. Uh, looks like Wizard of Oz vomited in my house sometimes depending on the season and how much I have rotated in and out of my living room. Uh, what do you usually think of before you fall asleep? That's number four. Uh, typically because my fiance works graveyards I'm usually thinking about him a little bit because I miss him uh, and then after that most definitely I think about how much longer I can possibly procrastinate my assignments for the week. Um, I have to have most of my assignments posted by a Thursday and a Sunday depending on what class I'm in for the week or whatnot. so if I can let it go as long as possible, I do. Um, what's your favorite color? My most favorite color would have to be greens and it's not one particular shade of green, it just kind of depends on the season and my mood. In the summers I love bright, vibrant lime greens, kiwi greens, spring greens, and in the fall I love hunter greens and dark jades and anything like that. Number six, have you ever been addicted to a video or a computer game? Well, currently I find myself procrastinating playing those silly hidden object games. They piss me off, but that's what drives me to play them more and more and more because I absolutely have to find every last little hidden object, whether it's a mask or a feather or a screw in a pile of hay. I have to find it. Uh, do you have any bad habits? Yes. <laughs> Aside from being a procrastinator, I am a smoker. I would love to stop. I really would, but I just can't find the motivation to do that yet. So, yes, indeed, I am a smoker. Secondly, hmm, I have some anger issues sometimes. Things really seem to get under my skin easily as of late, but that's something I'm working on and becoming more aware of. Uh, number eight, name three of your best personality traits. I'm definitely kind. I, I you know if I know you you know I'll be the most loyal friend you could ever have um, I'm a great cook I used to work at a very popular restaurant here where I live uh, well where I used to live I keep forgetting that I moved almost two years ago but um learned how to be quite the snazzy cook and third hmm gosh I have no idea. I guess I'm funny. I love to crack a joke. I'm pretty witty. Uh, three of your worst personality traits. Number nine, obviously a procrastinator. Um, secondly, as I said before, get kind of angry pretty quickly. And third, I have zip for patience. Zero. I cannot stand stupid people. It, it just pisses me off to no end when somebody is blatantly ignorant and they sit there and they look at you like, what's your problem? Uh, number 10, any tattoos or piercings? Well, um, obviously I got the nose pierced. I used to have my eyebrow pierced, but for some reason, I don't know, I hit 30 this year. Gasp. 
and it just kind of didn't feel right anymore I guess just maybe growing out of it um, with that said I'm addicted to tattoos I have 10 or 11 tattoos um, most of them are like on my back my leg my foot um, I tattooed each side of my neck I don't know if it'll show on camera but I have a butterfly tattooed on that side of my neck and this is kind of an inside thing between me and my fiance but I have the word chaos scrolled on that side of my neck and my last one was one that my fiance got for me and you can't really see it no matter how I turned my arm here but it is a sugar skull and I absolutely love it so um, kind of growing out the hair now to cover up the tattoos on the neck because I am uh, pursuing my master's right now and hope to go into a uh, PhD program so you know having tattoos everywhere doesn't necessarily look too professional uh, let's see what is the first thing you notice about the opposite sex you know it really used to just depend on the person but I would say with my fiance after knowing him for God knows how many years. It's definitely the eyes. His eyes were so beautiful. They, they are definitely the window to the soul. So I'd have to say eyes. Uh, do you consider yourself a clean or messy person? I'm both. I hate messes, but yet I will be the last one to have to clean them up if I have to. As I said, I had four kids, so you can imagine the chaos that runs them up through my house. So I'm kind of big on if you made the mess, you'll clean it up. And... 70% of the time they don't want to clean it up so it stays messy until mom gets angry enough that I get up, I start cleaning it, and then they follow suit. Uh, if you could live anywhere besides where you live now, where would you live? Um, that would definitely be New York. Uh, there's a lot of residency programs and different things I'd like to get into once I finish up with this, uh, this degree. So uh, New York is something I'd like to look at. I understand that there's some good parts and some bad parts that I've never actually been there to be honest but everything I've read, everything I've studied, everything I've learned in regards to my profession I'm going into uh, that definitely would be a key place for me to be. Uh, number 14, what's your favorite song right now? <sighs> we may have to censor this, I'll try to be very clean about it. My favorite song right now, I absolutely love CeeLo Green's F U song so yeah that's my favorite right now how clean is that uh, let's see number 15 do you have any hidden talents I sing uh, some people know that I'd say it's about 50 50 but I do I sing I've sat in with quite a few local bands and different things competed in some contests um, competed in a few nationally recognized contests was actually supposed to go this last year and try out for America's Got Talent but I kinda chickened out at the last minute so um, I guess that would be my hidden talent that's not so hidden name one thing not many people know about you and that's number 16 hmm gosh I'm pretty much an open book to be honest I think everybody knows just about everything there is to know about me so uh, sorry number 16 uh, we just did that number 17 what's your favorite movie of all time the Wizard of Oz need I say more number 18 do you know the meaning or origin of your name you know, I used to when I was younger. I really gave a shit about things like that. I really don't anymore, though. I know it's English or something like that. You know, my real name is Brenda. For those of you that don't know, that's what the whole Ms. Brenner stems from. Uh, it was picked up by my dad. He was an old country time guy, and he loved Brenda Lee. So that's where it came from, although my middle name is not Lee. Uh, number 19, what three YouTubers would you like to meet in person? Ah, definitely number one would be Dana Lajeunesse. If I slaughter your name and you see this, I'm so sorry, Dana. Um, she's in Canada. She is amazing. She is a mommy too. I just envy everything that she's able to do. I, I absolutely love her. Um, number two would be Samantha Sherman. I love her. Um, I watch all her videos. I'm so enjoying watching her go through her pregnancy now as a first time mom and she's just, she's amazingly lovely. She's just a beautiful person inside and out. Number three would have to be uh, Midnight Mariposa. 
Uh, we kind of became buddies over YouTube, and she recently moved uh, somewhere that's fairly close to me, although I haven't been able to tell her how close she actually is to me yet. So uh, she's amazing. If you ever get to get on here and check her out, her looks are just incredible. The things she comes up with, the cut creases, the braids, I mean, she's just, oh, she's awesome. She can rock an 88 or 120 palette, let me tell you. Uh, number 20, who do you tag? I already said that. I tag all of you. So if you're still watching this because it was completely and utterly boring, I thank you so much for your loyalty. Uh, if not, definitely everyone have a great rest of your week. Friday's creeping up on us, so uh, be blessed. Remember to share the love, subscribe, rate. Uh, no negativity, no trolling. Uh, Y'all have a great, great weekend. Thanks. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,